Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Tips and Gist. If today is your first time, please click on the subscribe button because you are going to get lots of videos on this platform. It is free to subscribe. You are going to get notifications anytime I post a video. So please kindly do that. Today in this video, we are going to treat how to create IRCC account. IRCC is Immigration, Refugee, Citizenship, Canada. So it is you creating an account with the government of Canada and with this account, you'll be able to apply for any type of visa. Let's say you need a visit visa, you need a work permit, a study permit, refugee, whatever. You have to use this IRCC account to apply. So I'm going to demonstrate how you can create the IRCC account all by yourself. Just get a laptop, a data, sit in your room and start your application. So we are right here on Google and we are going to the Canada.ca. Okay, their portal. So I type Canada versus here, Canada visa, and I search for Canada visa. I am going to see Canada.ca. Okay, you have to take a look at this logo. There are a lot of Canada.ca. There are duplicates website. People have created duplicated websites. Okay, so you have to look at this Canada.ca with this logo. Then you click on it okay it brings you to the canada website this is where we apply for all types of visas so you click here immigration and citizenship you are going to see all the categories so visit is here work visa or work permit is here immigrate is here so study permit this is where you have to do that citizenship all right so how do you apply for a visa just like facebook you can't send for a request without creating a facebook account right the same way you cannot apply for a visa on this portal without creating IRCC account. I always tell you that IRCC I is for immigration, R is for refugee, C is for citizenship, and another C is for Canada. So you have to create or sign in if you already have an account. So sign in to your IRCC account. With that, you are able to start an application. That is a visa application. Whether visit, whether tour, whether study, whether family, whatever business if you want to start an application you have to sign in it also allow you to even pay for your application so the visa fees biometric fees and everything with you being able to sign in you are able to make payment you also get messages related to your application so let's say you apply and the embassy wants to send you biometric dates and those kind of confirmation emails um, after you signing in you are able to get it you are able to check the status of your application so you can track if you apply and you're not getting feedback from them you can be tracking your application to know where it has got into you can also update your information so let's say you apply for a visa and you have additional information to add you can update your information you can do that all right so there you can sign in with the gc key or the sign in partner sign in partner is for canadians because they are asking for online canadian banking information that is if you have an online bank account but if you don't have online canada bank account then it means that you have to use the gc key method okay to sign in but since we are not having an account then we have to register so don't have an account we click here register so it's the same thing it's either you register with a gc key or you register with a sign in partner i've already explained this so we are going to choose gc key because we don't have a canadian banking account okay so we click here register with a gc key all right so welcome to gc key sign in but still we are signing up because we don't have an account so you look at here there's a sign up here we click here sign up all right they'll ask you terms and condition they'll ask you to read the terms and condition after you are done, you click I accept. They'll ask you to create your username. So um, you make your username easy for you to remember. So I just type tips and gist. Um, so. Okay, so tips and gist is my username. Let me see if they are going to accept it. So the username, they are saying that it's a min, mi, minimum of eight characters. It may contain this, that, 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 and that. Okay, so let's see. I just choose tips and just let's see if they are going to accept that. Okay, so they accepted that. 
The password to their saying 8 to 16 characters it shouldn't contain any consecutive numbers. It should be a valid characters, lowercase, uppercase, digits, password match. So I am going to say use my um the password that I use for my um how do you call it? Job bank account. So Ghana Capital G Capital G H A N A at 75 okay so i have gotten all this okay eight characters i've gotten it no consecutive numbers valid characters lowercase uppercase and the case i have everything so i'm going to repeat the password for it to match so i've met all their requirements here so now i can continue so i click here and they are asking me security questions i think the first one you will select your question and answer but the subsequent ones they have stated the questions over there so you are going to answer them so let's select the first question um what is what was my first pet's name so my first pet was a dog and the name was action okay action all right a memorable person i will say my mom Beatrice, okay, then the hint is mom, okay, mom, all right, the memorable date, so 2017, then the month is August, so 08, then the day is 15th, okay, so that will be my graduation date, graduation um, date, all right my university graduation date okay so i click continue now they are asking for email address so i'm going to type my email address here tips and gist at gmail.com then i repeat it here tips and just at gmail dot com then i click continue okay so i click continue here and they are saying that they have sent a confirmation code to my email address tips and just at gmail.com so i'm supposed to go to my email and see if the code is actually there so fast forward this is my email let me see okay so you can see government of canada please verify your gc key so this is telling you that it is straight from the government of canada okay it is straight from the government of canada and you cannot apply for a visa without this ircc account so you click here you can see canada hello tips and gist okay so this is the verification code so i copy it they are asking you not to reply this email please don't reply the government okay so i copy it and i go there to input it here okay so i paste it and i click continue so email recovery complete so you have successfully added email recovery option now you click continue welcome tips and gist to help protect your information, please remember to sign out and close your browser before leaving this computer unattended. So once we have verified our email address, now we are coming to create the account, okay? So terms and conditions you read and you click here, I accept. Once you accept, then you have to enter your given names here. So that should be the name on your passport, okay? That should be the name on your passport so that it can be related to your applications if you're applying for a visit a school or whatever the name on your passport please enter it over there okay and for security reasons i'm not going to enter my name over there i'm not going to enter let me choose another name okay let me say evans evans is an english name right so that is the given names so please if you see given names is just like your first name okay then your surname is your last name so evans Boachi. Okay, that is not my name actually, but for security reasons. 
the email address you have to use that email address okay so the one that you use for the verification okay then here you select the language english then you click here continue so i've been able to sign in as ivan Boachi, and they're asking some security questions over here but here you are going to type your question and you are going to answer okay this stage so first question what is your mother's first name okay what is your mother's first name that is my first security question with a question mark the second security question what is your father's first name okay that is my second security question and the third one what is the name of your pets okay then the fourth question should be where are you from that is your hometown okay so i have just selected some security questions so you can just frame yours okay but make sure that you add a question mark otherwise the system is not going to pick so my mother's first name is beatrice my father's first name is paul these are all examples okay these are all examples so you have to do yours and um, what is the name of your pet action action is a dog okay and then where are you from my hometown i will say konongo okay konongo so i click continue okay so you can see this is ivan's watches account okay i selected my name to be ivan's watch so you can see that every application that i have done here they are saying no data in the table because i have not done any application okay then if you want to continue on an application let's say i was applying for a visit visa but i didn't finish the other time it will be here so i can continue okay so basically this is inside my profile okay just like you go on tiktok your tiktok profile or you go on facebook your facebook profile so that is my um visa profile okay my visa account profile so when we talk about you creating ircc account that is what it means okay is the profile where you can track all your visas where you can apply for the visas and you can even continue application if you didn't uh, finish okay if you start an application and you don't finish you can continue on another time so there's nothing here because this is a new account you can just start the application okay so guys i will end here this is basically how to create the ircc account please don't forget your password don't forget your username don't forget that email address you used in creating the ircc account and also the security questions please don't forget because anytime that you log in they are going to ask you at least one security question you can use that to apply for any visa okay visit study permit web permit tourism business any type of visa that you need if you want to migrate to canada you are going to use this ircc account to apply for the visa with the visa application i have a video on the work permit the part a i'm going to complete the part b this week after that i'm going to do a video on visit visa the visit visa is going to be for visit tour conference whether for medical reasons any type of visit okay interviews you migrating to canada for a short time i'm going to do how to apply okay then for the study permit too i'm going to do that for the students i did a video on your documents but the actual application i'm going to do that so that you can sit in your room get a laptop a data and apply all by yourself what you need to know is the documents okay once you have all your documents you can just apply because it's your documents with your mastercard or your debit card that is what they are saying you have your ircc account you make your application you submit your documents you make payment you are done then they'll book you for your biometrics after the biometrics you go to do your medicals after the medicals they will call you for passport submission then you go for your passport so that is how it is so please subscribe to this youtube channel because you are going to get lots of information as time goes on bye bye